Hello Sunshines, what we got going for you today is working on this can and this long pipe. I think you guys will enjoy the results and how I come to where my cuts were. The pipe we chose to start off with this was about 610 thousandths ID on the pipe. Uh, about 15 and a half millimeter. And right now it's about three and a half inches long and was, uh, which is about 80 millimeter, eight centimeters. Um, it started out nine inches long. You guys have to do your own metric on that. Uh, started out nine inches long. Uh, we, we're gonna find the hot spot. We're gonna cut it off. I'm gonna show you how I found that. I'm gonna show you how I chose where to make these cuts. Uh, pretty neat. I think you guys will really like that. It's, it just blew my mind the first time I seen it. We cut off right at a centimeter at a time or about 400 thousandths, okay? Uh, on both sides of where I chose to cut it. But that's where we wind up right now. So that's what you guys are gonna watch today. I'm gonna start working on the next one. It takes me a little bit to edit these guys, so I'm gonna start working on the next one. The next one I'm thinking is gonna be pretty neat too. If you guys missed the previous video of this, I had a regular can with a three quarter, 19 millimeter hole in it. And a uh, bark box style with essentially the same in it. Putting all these mufflers in, also a muffler mod playlist. There's also a Stilo 26 playlist, which is what we're working on. About a 50, 50 ish CC saw. Uh, what I'm going to do today while you guys are watching this, so it'll be one of the next videos, is there's been speculation about uh, volume in the can. So, uh, Hopefully you guys can see it, but where I've marked that with a chalk marker so you can see it, that's just a flat plate that I've welded across that took up all this room under here, took up all this room under here and basically made a straight line from there to there. Uh, so it, it removed all this volume under here. And any bounce back, it might direct right back into that port, possibly. That's, that's, my, that's my reasoning. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today while you guys are doing that. And the ones I'm going to check on this are this, this pipe in its current configuration, this uh, bark box type in its current configuration, and this stock lid with a uh, three-quarter inch hole. That's what, that's what the next video will be, so give you guys something to think about. Guys, we got some of the great comments in here, and I want you guys to keep after that. Um, and give me some ideas on what to do. Uh, we're kind of stuck in mufflers right now. We don't have to be. I mean, if you guys get tired of doing the mufflers right now, I'm, man, I'm just enjoying the crap out of it. Um, but we got a bunch of guys in there. Old Mountain Man, I appreciate you uh, being in there, uh, giving me compliments. You're going to make my head swell up. And, uh, let's face it, I ain't very smart. The only reason my head's up here is just keep rain out of my neck and keep my ears the right distance apart. That's, that's, that's all I use it for, guys. So I'm relying on you guys tell me what to do. <laughs> Gosh dang it. And Kevin L. and Archer and Farmless Farmer and uh, E230, I think. I, bad, bad on the number. Sorry, that one don't, that don't click with me. And Black Dog Saws and, oh, I don't want to leave anybody out. But, man, there's so many great comments in there. And I want you guys, if you haven't ever commented before, jump in there, comment. Just say, hey, just, you know, um... Joe Berserker, he's always in there. Uh, man, I, I love it. Uh, you guys, jump in there and just say hey, if nothing else. Appreciate it. Without further ado, here we went.
Ah, shut up. My turn to talk. Ah, you guys can see that, I hope. Man, I hope you see that. There is such a drastic change in temperature right there. And in my opinion, that's where that column of exhaust is getting out, right? It's running out this exhaust. That's just how I picture it in my head. Guys, I picture that in my head, that column of exhaust is running out, okay? And it's pulling a vacuum in this cylinder right here until, until the intake and the transfer is open. It's, it's, this here, it's all running out, so it's, what's called a siphon. Uh, this pipe's causing a siphon. It's pulling, it's pulling air behind it. And as soon as it gets out, she's like pulling your, in, uh, pulling your hose out, you, you, you break your siphon, right? Um, so to me, this here's like a siphon hose. And it's siphoning exhaust gases out of your cylinder and actually maybe drawing a vacuum in there, okay? Which will help pull that fuel in. Uh, and, then, and then, of course, you, you got your bounce back to stuff it back in the other way. Uh, the way I see it, this siphon's going out at a high rate of speed. And at some point, if she's pulling enough vacuum, it slows it down. And that's where I think your hot spot's going to be, right where it stops that exhaust. Essentially stops it. Uh, slows it down. Anyhow, that's my thinking. Uh, and I know I've been told about thinking and I shouldn't be doing it una unaccompanied, but that's what I'm doing. That's what we're going to do. Y'all ain't here today while I'm videoing it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull this off and I'm probably going to cut that. Now guys, just to keep me honest, uh, you see that, that line was about where that hot spot was at, that's about even with the inside of this case right here, right? We'll throw in with that, just to keep me honest, because you guys know me, man, I lie, I ain't trustworthy at all. So we'll keep me honest, there's about where the line's at, but I'm gonna cut it off out in here, do a dyno on it, cut it off at the line, probably do a dyno, and cut her off an inch in and do a dyno, and I'll try to remember to get you guys measurements of that tube the whole time. Uh, I want to show you that tube right quick. Let me yank it off here. Now guys, here's that, that exhaust tube. And there's, what is there? Oh, about, about so much. Inch, inch and a half. Uh, what's that make? Uh, four or five millimeters, or four or five centimeters worth. Eh, maybe more than that. Heck, I ain't good at it. Um, so we're getting a little bit of draw in there. And I think this was right at nine inches long, the whole length. So I'll try to get you a measurement later of this pipe. And I think a certain length of pipe is going to be good. That's why I poke part of it inside, uh, get a long enough hose to siphon with. Uh, so we had to hide part of that hose inside this case. And I don't know why a guy couldn't, if he was pretty good, he probably could have drilled the hole out here, shifted this hole down, and hid this whole thing, all except for what stuck out the side. But this was the easiest way to weld it together. And then... If it ends up staying out here, it's going to need a kickstand brazed in there just to keep that from vibrating. But that's where we're at. We'll get this cut off. We're going to have, we're going to cut it off there, do a dyno and a heat test. Cut it off right at the line, do a dyno and a heat test. And then cut it off maybe a quarter inch inside that or a half inch inside that. Do a dyno and a heat test on both of them. Guys, before I cut to it, I want to let you guys know my goldfish is going to need blood pressure medicine. Uh, my centipede's going to need corrective shoes. That's going to run into the money. Man, I need you guys to comment and like and subscribe and do all that. Uh, you know, so I don't go broke and starve to death. <laughs> no, honestly, guys, I don't make a dime off of YouTube. Not one dime. I ain't eligible yet. But I'm going to tell you this. I do love the comments. I do love the subscriptions. I, I, I love all that. The thumbs up. If you can do that, I appreciate it. Because that, that's my only reward. Um, but... If I didn't earn it, if I make a crappy video, don't thumbs up it. Tell me what I did wrong. The more you thumbs up it, the more it'll put it to other people watching. If this video's crappy, don't give it a thumbs up because we're trying to grow this. We don't want to uh, be telling everybody, hey, this is the greatest video it is, and then it's a disappointment. So somebody that's new says, heck, I, that's terrible. That's a terrible example of a video. I don't want to watch him no more, and there may be better videos. So um, if I earned it, like it. If I didn't, don't. Um, don't worry about my goldfish. I'll just stroke his little wings and try to get his blood pressure down the best I can. Okay, we got her cut off, cleaned out, D-bird blew out. I cut it off right at 400 thousandths past that wide mark, which is pretty wide. Um, but anyhow, best I could, about 400 thousandths or one millimeter past where it starts to cool down. 
So we're going to try that one first. I will say on that first long exhaust, there was no pop to that exhaust. It was just a, it was more steady. Um, you didn't have that reverberation like you usually feel on an exhaust that works good. It was, by the time it got out here, it was more on just a steady flow. It was no longer pulsing with the engine too much. Uh, and it was real quiet too. We'll see what we got now. Uh, she got a little bit more pop. Not quite, it's got a lot more pop. Not quite as much, still pretty quiet. This thing always wants to talk when it's my turn. Man, this thing oils good. <laughs> uh, gotta put the plug back in the can. I was trying to run that thermocouple in there, it just won't work. So now I gotta plug the hole. Exhaust cut off after the hot spot. Oh, turn it on. guys you got the dyno runs um let's go in the house well i'm gonna go in the house you guys don't even have to move um we'll get you some dyno results and heat results well thanks for joining me in here uh we'll get right into looking at these numbers see how i digest them see if it's any different than you guys digest them i'd like to hear you guys opinion uh there's a few things in here that give a guy cause to wonder if that's due to the muffler or due to the guy running the dyno or what uh, I will say the dyno numbers are real stable on this I've I think I've got that about down pat the heat that's another thing we're still having growing pains on it and the next the next video uh, coming up I'm gonna run the heat just a little bit different yet and the one after that's gonna have a thermal couple in it I don't have hopefully it'll be in brown sand I might bring that today uh, anyhow, without further ado, here we went. The first iteration we have today is that pipe cut off after the hot spot. Downwind, meaning the longest pipe. Now that pipe did not stretch out very far, so that kind of indicates to me we're probably still a little restricted. And also bear in mind, this pipe is still smaller outlet than either the bark box or the three quarter inch hole. So, uh, you know, that's going to be another one down the road, give it a little bit more, a uh, little bit more breathing room. It peaked out over here about 4.09 horsepower at 10,001, uh, 2.41 foot pounds of torque, which did pretty good. Then we cut it off at the hot spot. And as the guide suspect, uh, or as I hoped, as I figured, it got a little better. And it really climbed faster here. Now you'd notice that's the yellow line. That yellow line, you'd if you was uh, limbing and cutting and just getting into small wood, you would, I believe, you would notice that. Uh, you know, especially up in here where you're not getting into the saw motor much. I think you'd notice that. <clears throat> uh, then we cut off before the hot spot. And it stretched out just a little bit higher <clears throat> and I had to, and I was running that it ran just a little bit fatter <clears throat> and I tried adjusting these all I adjust these all for max horsepower give or take at about 10,000 rpms that's where I set it I pull it down uh, that's where I'm setting it we might so each one of these tuned theoretically just a little bit different we get uh, we get that other thermal couple in. I'm going to try to set it by exhaust temp, I believe. Uh, some of the guys in the comments have been talking about that. Uh, I think that's something to try. But I digress. It was it was kind of funny. It it was pretty pretty rich up here. It come in and then it as it started cleaning up, it dropped a second and then she just she took off straight up. 
and it pretty well caught the yellow line the one that was cut off at the hot spot and we'll bring it down I'm gonna roll you guys down to the other uh, the other chart that shows just horsepower uh, it spreads it out just a little bit bigger graph uh, you can see it come in just a little bit higher and cleaned up and then she just went straight up pretty well on the torque curve horsepower curve and it stretched above everything just like before uh, and I can keep cutting this pipe off that may or may not be what I do but I think what we need to do is go to a bigger pipe uh, that, that's what I'm thinking we're needing uh, tell me what you guys think tell me how I'm reading these numbers see if I went far enough if I went too far if I'm boring it if I'm uh, getting juices flowing in the old brain pan uh, let me know what you guys think now let's go on to the heat I don't know if it showed what we thought it would or not uh, it's hard to say and like I say I'm still having growing pains with the heat uh, the goofy long pipe brought this in from last time these are all uh, these are all weather corrected as well the goofy long pipe uh, was 3.85 horsepower and beginning heat in Fahrenheit's here beginning heat in Celsius is here of course you guys know from before I get this the decimals in there just to make it uh, fit in the graph good it worked out good with Fahrenheit for the graph if I just put a decimal so that's 260 degrees beginning and up to 301 and so on and so forth <clears throat> you guys can stop that video if you want and kind of look at that the horsepower is the green line and the cold temp beginning temp is the blue line and the hot temp the red temp is the red line the goofy long pipe was down there it, it, it did okay it was quiet it was kind of surprising what it did it made some more heat than some other things but it did all right uh, <clears throat> you can see the the gain here we had on it now we cut it off after the hot spot we made just a little bit more heat and started out right at the same temperature I was having trouble getting all these started out at the same temperature because they cooled different uh, it wouldn't idle it wouldn't idle along um, I couldn't just kind of keep feathering the throttle and getting it up to a certain spot so, and I was doing this after a dyno pull what I'd do is I'd let it cool down and then start bringing it back up some of them would cool down faster and I couldn't get it brought back up without putting a load on it and at that time I wasn't wanting to put a load on it the way I did the next run that I don't have charted yet is I put a load on it brought it up to 275 degrees in the load that it was going to run and run it for a minute at that load we got a lot higher temperatures over here but of course we pulled it longer and harder uh, but I did this the best I can. Like I say, we're having growing pains with the heat. I think this is going to be a wonderful tool. Anyhow, I digress. So after the hot spot, um, decent horsepower for this pipe, just close to four horse, uh, 3.92, uh, what was it? 3.95, okay, after the hot spot. Um, and the, and the temperature looked familiar to the goofy pipe it, it got just a little bit hotter but it made just a little bit more horsepower so a person could expect that at the hot spot cutting it off just right at the hot spot uh, it started out a little hotter and it made it a little bit hotter but the the differential wasn't as high and I don't know if that's how I'm running it or the fact that really that's all the hotter it was going to get and I just started it off later and it planed out because it started out higher but it didn't it didn't climb as fast it was basically heat saturated at that point but we didn't make as much horsepower so at the hot spot the horsepower to heat ratio is probably the worst one there um, and I will say you could think well we know as the saw gets hotter it quits making horsepower but this at the hot spot made the least horsepower of any of them here and that was before it was heat saturated too bad these all started about the same temperature so they I'm, I'm leaving myself open for 
different consideration, but I'm not sure it's not going to be accurate. When I cut it off right before the hot spot, it turned this pipe on a little. I think, like I say, I think it's still restricted, don't get me wrong, but we got her up over four, four horse. We're almost to 4.1, uh, 4.09. Now that pipe cooled way better than the rest of them. Uh, it started out down here at about 230 degrees, but it climbed, it climbed higher. It climbed to 300 you know a little over 300 but the horsepower to heat ratio is 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 pretty good i think so guys there's our trial on cutting it off before and after the hot spot and also uh, working with some growing pains on the heat let me know what you guys think see if you want me to present this in a way is there a way i can present this that's more understandable and uh, jump in there and let me know how you digest it i'm just kind of collecting the stuff here um, I don't know as far as I'm concerned it's basically a community dyno uh, let me know how to run it I don't mind building a dyno matter of fact that's I'm better at building a dyno than I am chainsaws uh, I guess I just build chainsaws so I have something to do on my dyno I don't know <laughs> so guys jump in there and tell me what you think uh, and we'll catch you on the next one we got some pretty good ones coming up real good ones coming up thanks a lot